This video is for measuring the dimensions to check how thick of the brush you need to assemble the model. Please download and print the model template and cut the outline of the models. You can paste the template on a cardboard before you cut it to make the model more heavy. Please turn your bike upside down to have a better view of the bottom bracket of your bike. Place the model at the middle of the bottom bracket and match the edge to the bottom bracket. Please rotate the model around point A. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective. I gotta be a make the left hand point B of the model when you should touch the chainstay. As we can see, I got facts that if facts over the tracks, these and that's the chainstay. Then we can measure the distance. But I don't know if that can erase all of the chest in the pettiness. Overthink the washing is hilarious. You think you're with my time, you're delirious. But the conclusion that we have is the point B is out of the chainstay. The washer for me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got. It was built to last. Yeah. This video guides the installation of TSDC 8 motors, crank and speed sensors. Step 1 Accessories and tools. The accessories we need will be chain The accessories and tools used to this tool include chain, chain ring coverable, chain ring, M5 screw, M4 self-tapping screw, could be motor, so M4 head, a collage and they spread, I'll be great one day, going off of my meds, no I'm not giving up, no I'm not giving in, I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind, I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it, I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it, I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon, modern kingdom for the taking. Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Assemble the chain ring no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough, step three: and motor installation. This, I'll show up. Put the motor into the bottom bracket. Rotate the motor to check if motor touches the chain stay. Put the bottom bracket washer on the motor to avoid the chain stay. Before assembling the stiffening plate, we should pre-attach the stiffening plate screws and washers. If bottom bracket washers were used previously, then prefer longer stiffening plate screws in this step. Please notice the direction and position of stiffening plate. Then we can assemble the stiffening plate on the motor. But don't lock to the end. You can add the correct amount of washers for the screws, but don't lock to the end. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut. Turn the motor toward down tube. Tighten the bottom bracket lock nut. Tighten stiffening plate screws. Tighten the stiffening plate screws by using M4 Allen key. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut cover. Tighten the bottom bracket lock nut by using bottom bracket nut wrench. Step 4. Crank speed sensor installation. Assemble the left crank by using M8 Allen key.
Assemble the right crank by using M8 Allen key. Use cable tie to lock the speed sensor on the chain stay. Screw the magnet on the spoke. Adjust the flat side of magnet to face with the arrow on the sensor. This video guides the installation of TSDZ8 display, remote and throttle. Step 1. Accessories and Tools The accessories we will need will be Display Remote Throttle Tools we need will be Allen Key Set Cutter Cable Tie Step 2. Display Remote Installation Take out the screws on the display by using M3 Allen key. Needed or not of the washer in the display is according to the diameter of your handlebar. Place the display on the handlebar, adjust the position. Lock the display by using M3 Allen key. Take out the screws on the remote by using M2 Allen key. Put the remote on the left side of the handlebar. Connect the remote and display. Step 3. Throttle installation. Take off the right side of the grip. Lost the screw of the throttle by using M2.5 Allen key. Put the throttle on the handlebar. Take off the middle rubber plug behind the display, and make sure that the arrow side is facing up while connecting it with throttle. Step 4. Battery installation. Install your battery. Step 5. Connection of lines. Connect the display. Connect the battery. Connect speed sensor. Step 6. Display test. Turn the system on. Test the display function. Activate the throttle to see if the motor runs and the speed shows on the display.